Hey guys, welcome back to my 31 days of tarot and this was created by Ethany. Find her video in the bio. Today is day 29 and it asks how I feel about tarot deck modification. Do I draw on my decks, trim the borders, edge them? Why, why not? And so here I have my beloved bonefire tarot and you can see that i have in fact edged the borders the borders i've edged the edges <laughs> oh dear it's going to be one of those videos and i used a black sharpie to do this it has edged this deck beautifully it doesn't come off on your hands blah 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 um now this is the only deck that I have in my collection that has been modified in any capacity and I will tell you a bit about what happened. That was my first ever modification. It went really, really well and that cardstock took to the Sharpie just so beautifully. I then decided that I would like to edge my Raven's Prophecy Tarot which has the orange borders and I got an orange sharpie and what I have very quickly found out is that different decks obviously have different cardstock and so the pen will react differently to different cardstock and what it did on that particular the thinner Llewellyn cardstock is even though I edged it in the same way and made sure it was at the same angle it bled through and sort of looked kind of messy also it just continuously kept coming off on my hands when I shuffled which is really bizarre because the sharpies came from the same pack this one you can literally rub it across my hands and there's no there's no ink transfer, but with the Raven's Prophecy there was. So now I'm really not a modifier. Several reasons. One, to be honest, I just don't get a lot of time to do things like that. And there are other things that I would prefer to be doing art craft wise. I don't really want to risk damaging any of my decks. And to be honest with you, whilst the one thing that does that I do find really difficult is large decks because I have such small hands and so it's not just a case of shuffling them long ways instead of sideways if that makes sense but some of them because they're thick as well I can't even do that with them it genuinely my hands aren't big enough and so I have to like make a mess on the floor like a kid and then either put them together and fan them out or just pick from the mess. And I can imagine that trimming would be beneficial. That being said, I wouldn't want to risk ruining them. I can totally see why it brings some people joy. So I don't think it's a no-go. When people modify their decks, I don't find that offensive. Or, like, I know some people are really passionate about it. I can safely say if I was an artist and I created a deck, yes, of course you have a vision for it, but I would not at all feel bothered by people colouring it in, cutting it smaller, whatever they want to do with it. If that works for them and they still, you know, they've still bought my deck or my artwork or whatever, and whatever works for people, right? So there's not, I don't have an issue with doing it, it's just I'm not very good at it. I don't really have the patience for it. As soon as the Raven's Prophecy went wrong, I was like, oh, like even edging them just felt like I'm not that bothered, I'll just deal with the edges. And I must say, I think the deck modifications seem to be most popular for covering chipping which is the one reason why I would have liked to edge, but I just won't bother now. I'll just embrace the chipping. Or because people don't like the borders, they prefer borderless. And because borders have never bothered me, it's just really a no-go for me. As I say, I love seeing other people's modifications. It really does seem to put a different spin on decks. And 
and I do really love how my bone fire turned out. This is a uh, this is the mass produced copy and it's by Schiffer Publishing. And so I think that if I ever had another Schiffer deck and I was really keen to edge it then I probably would happily do so because this one went so well. But other than that I I'm going to say no mods for me. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get to see some really cool modifications on some other people's channels. Feel free to comment below if you're a modder or not and I will see you again tomorrow.